Hello, it is Mary Ann Mocha, and in this video is going to be a learning video about cis women health. I'm trying to figure out a best way to put it, but basically, women that can go through menopause. So, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video or we post another video. With that being said, let's get into it. So, like I said, this is going to be a learning video. Um, I think I've done a video like this before, but I still want to do it because of the fact that I was never taught none of these and a doctor has never told me, hey, these are going, this is what's going to happen to you when you go through menopause. But I knew some of the stuff that was going to happen to you when you go through menopause. I would have rethought about, thought about it, but since my situation was not that good um I decided I decided I was gonna do a video for people that they really want to go Go through menopause and stop having periods. So if if you still want to watch it, go ahead. It's things I've been dealing with when I'm going through menopause. So if this helps you or you are someone that... Are thinking about you really want to have a hysterectomy so you can stop having periods or you are someone that keeps wishing that they can have a hysterectomy or just stop having periods so some of the things I've been dealing with and they don't tell you about. I believe that in high school or anywhere that you do sex ed, they should continue the sex ed into telling, telling you, telling the students, telling women uh, what you're going to deal with when you go through menopause. Because if I knew some of these things, I would be thinking really hard. But like I said, with my situation, I would rather take kind of what I'm dealing with over over what I was dealing with so one of the big things is insomnia I've had that from day one Um, you get insomnia and if you don't know what insomnia is it is basically where you cannot fall asleep without help when I say without help it's meaning you're taking 
a over-the-counter sleep aid. Um, like with me, I take three pills to fall asleep. One of them I cut in half and I take the full pill sometimes, half a pill. Sometimes one of the pills I take, you can take two of them where I just take one, but I take pretty much three pills to go to sleep. And one of them is a antidepressant. That they realize it's a, also a sleep aid. I deal with that. Um, mood swings. You get mad for no reason. It's not fun. Um, hot flashes. I do get them, but they're not as bad as they were when I first had a hysterectomy. And what helps me with hot flashes are when I first had it and found out about this, I would do it. Um, Sunflower seeds keep them on hand because if you start feeling like you're having a hot flash, pour a handful of sunflower seeds, throw them in your mouth, and something in the sunflower seeds stops the hot flash. Night sweats. I get them every so often. Um, Headaches. You do get headaches from the lack of estrogen in your body. Um, skin itching. Your body itching for no reason. As you can tell, I was scratching right there. Um, get some back scratchers and keep them all over the house. Whatever your room you're in, keep it in there except for the kitchen. Because all of a sudden, an uh, itch will come on at no given moment. Dry skin. So I, I have um, psoriasis or eczema. I need to go to a dermatologist to see about it. But I get really bad dry skin now. Get, instead of the lotion, make sure you get cream because it's a better for you than the lotion. Um, you do get memory lost a little bit. The biggest one and the reason I'm doing this video is a new symptom I did not know about and no one tells you about and until it happens and you start doing research because you're wondering why is this happening so often and what you can do to combat it trying to figure it all out so my biggest new symptom is a UTI and if you don't know what a UTI is it's a urinary tract infection yeah you get them frequent 
<laughs> when you're going through menopause. So some of the things that can help you with a UTI, drinking water, um, drinking water is a big thing. If you get a UTI, this urinary pain relief maximum strength. So this at the grocery store was $9.99 for 12 tablets. Basically you take, take three pills for two days. So I will take these two today and these two tomorrow because I took one yesterday. Um, it gets rid of the UTI in two days basically. On top of water, cranberry um, supplements, take them every day. I would, if you're young, I would start that now so you can not get a UTI. When you take this, don't be alarmed that your urine is going to be orange or yellow and not like the normal yellow when you urine, you use the bathroom. It's going to be a neon yellow and orange. It's because this is working, getting rid of the UTI. So cranberry and drinking plenty of water will help get rid of them. So I'm going to go start drinking water and only water and every so often maybe a prime. But yeah, I hope this helps you or a family matter member. It everyone wants to go through menopause or deal with not having their period, but you don't know what happens with it until you go through it yourself. I just wanted to help out someone that might be thinking about seeing if they can have a hysterectomy and go through menopause so they don't have their period any longer. I hope this helps. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this.